Sam Lewis Rundt folk, we take a little break from the speedruns to try out something different. I was a bit disappointed the Vikings only had two scenarios, so I went and started looking for custom campaigns, and stumbled upon the story of Harold Finehair. This campaign was made by Philly Soja, the creator of Sforza, Francisco de Almeida, Hauteville and a few others. Hard to even call it a custom campaign like this. Harold Finehair was the king of a small settlement south of what today is Oslo, and he felt his life was missing something, namely a wife. He then sent his very slow uncle to try and convince the princess of Hordaland in the west to marry him. But she was kind of a gold digger, and would only accept if he united Norway under one banner, his. And as any good bloodthirsty viking would, he took it as a personal challenge to murder and raid every single village in Norway and everywhere around, until the whole country bowed to him. Harold started preparing by holding a profusion feast, whatever that means. I still don't get the two tips by hovering the mouse on the tech. Once the feast was over, the army started being raised. He boarded his troops onto the ship he inherited from his aunt Bente, who died some years back trying to prove she could fight a bear with a kitchen knife, and then set sail towards Sweden, as it was tradition to shit on the weakest neighbor first. Gothenburg seems small and weak, so we start here first. Apparently we get gold for every enemy building destroyed, because I wasn't already happy to torch Sweden to the ground. More troops on the way, as Sweden is big, and we have a big genocide to commit here. Ah, Denmark with the slave trade. Boy, am I proud to live here. Sadly, they're quite expensive at 200 gold per head. Gothenburg raised, and we continue to move south. Is this Momo? I think it is. Back in a second. Can you imagine a world where there are no Momo people screaming at my face to speak Swedish to them? Harold achieved that. Thanks, Harold. We start preparing the next feast, and I really wish there was a way to know what they do. We unlocked berserkers and longboats, now we can really viking. Just a shame I can't really build a lot of them, or new villagers, or houses. May I kidnap a Swede and sacrifice it? You know, two birds with one stone or something like this? I need to buy a villager for this? Sounds very wasteful, not gonna lie. Meanwhile, we continue pillaging our way through Sweden, so we can afford a villager for the sacrifice. Alright, I'd like one of those ginger men and an eastern woman. Not older than 25, please. Slaves delivered and sent straight to the lumber camp. I gotta say, it's a bit weird to play such a slow-paced scenario and not feel bored. Cool, I can raise pigs. No thanks, I'll just steal them. Hey guys, we're here to punish you for surströming. For those who don't know what that is, surströming is fermented herring, a dish so vile that when I opened a can of it in the hostel I stayed in Stockholm, they quarantined the kitchen for two days. We reach another camp and start the massacre. It looks bad to be so brutal, but they eat fermented fish, I'm pretty sure that excuses me. And now I have access to a quarry, so there's another reason for it. It's a cool scenario, but it's been a bit repetitive with just destroying enemy villages. Ha! You think you can hide in the mountains? Skana being wiped deserves a feast and celebration. And now we can train Huskarls. I like this feast. Let's get a couple of these. I guess magic mushrooms have been around for a long time, huh? Everyone boards and bent the ship, and we sail to another corner of Sweden. And instantly find gold. Awesome. This slave will pay itself in no time. Harold and his buddies finally reach Uppsala. I think this is where they recorded Midsummer. Really good job with the set in this part, the wonder looks awesome here. Since I can't kill those Swedes, we sail back. Goddamn inflation. More gold found? Nothing but net for Harold. We start venturing up north, in hopes of finding Santa Claus. But I don't want to kill Ornlu, competition is good for me. Ah, the Sami Savages. Hope they have gold so I have an excuse for their inevitable extinction. And Harold finds Ornlu with his pack. I'm sorry, Arnlu. I really like your videos. Slaves are now 400 gold. Who's controlling this market? Prepare to be civilized, you savages. And another slave, so I can sacrifice 400 gold in Uppsala. One of you is going mining, and the other goes with Harold. Meanwhile, we sail back to Norway, as I'm sure there's a lot of gold there. That's it. I wasted 400 gold for a bird and a plus one in armor. Fine. I guess we can check out east. Just need a little dock here. Yeah, I kind of figured that out by killing two entire villages of theirs. Sailing east now with my buddies. Ah, this is a nice village. And we can train cavalry here. Very nice. 
need another overpriced villager? I'm gonna get a couple of ladies while I'm here. Alright, off we go back to Norway. And we march past the fjords to find more loot. Oh hells yeah, we got a dog. I hope he can wait a bit longer, cause I'm missing half the army. We finally arrive, and our new bloodthirsty buddies are already ravaging the land. I gotta be real smart with this priest, because I don't think I can get another one. Apparently I held a feast and don't remember doing so. We need more cavalry for these raids, so I order some conics. What the hell, Denmark? I pay my taxes. I can feel that I can only reach these guys by water. It's okay, I murdered these ones meanwhile. I know it's a custom campaign and all, but Vikings use long houses, not huts. I don't care for their long boats, because we can sink them with infantry. Even the special ship. Time for a special final feast. Oh, that's a good one. All soldiers are elite now. We run out of gold to mine, so we'll go mine stone now. I finally cave in and decide to build a navy. We're Vikings after all. Time to raise hell by the sea. We got a bit lost and met more savages. And you know, since we're here... Oh god, did we genocide them completely? Guess I don't have to explore here anymore. The longboats are just wiping the coast so we can find land for now. It's an okay tactic. How did you guys get stuck here? Hello friends, I've come to liberate your gold. Hmm, I feel like I'm doing pretty decent multitasking three things at once. There's some gold here, but I don't even spend that much anymore. Aw, poor little buddy. I'll send him back to the village to chill with my goats. Haha, <laughs> get fucked. This coastal hopping is not how I usually do my wars, but if it's working... And we meet yet another angry buddy to join the cause. They could just swim across this canal, but the raiding continues. And I send the navy to check out up north what I'm missing. The range on these ships is so tiny, I don't remember it being like this. Stavanger completely raised, and we move up north to end the Western Sea Kings. And they're not really putting up a fight. They have some ships, but it's not enough. We slowly turtle up north, raising and murdering everything for gold. They have some towers here, it could be danger. Nah, apparently Vikings never heard of murder holes. Ooh, here's Iceland. Let's never set foot in this barren land. They're really fucking weird here. Hmm, why aren't the Sea Kings giving up? Ah, they set up camp in the Faroe Islands. Not for long, though. While we stop the sheep fucking in the Faroe Islands, some more cavalry gets trained in the east. First island saved, just these thirds missing. Eastern Sea Kings defeated, it's time to start the siege in Hordaland. And my ladies are ready, this will be a breeze. What? I thought I murdered all of your kind. Much better. Hey guys, I'm here for my bride. God damn it, you guys are gonna make me take her by force, aren't you? Alright, torch everything, boys. I wish we had a unit like Guthrum in the game. Ugh, am I gonna have to level the whole town? Fine, but I'll do it out of spite. I don't even want her anymore. Many thanks to the people that told me to get the persistent corpses and blood mod. This looks really cool. Alright, Hortland pulverized. Where's my bride? Isn't his name Finehair? And he did get the gold digger. Isn't love great? No, the game gives me the option to go full annihilation or just finish it. And I thought about wiping everyone off the map, but I can't bring myself to destroy Denmark. And completely killing the semis feels a bit gratuitous. But I did go after the Celts. It was just very boring, so I kind of skipped that until we murdered the monks in Iceland. And with Harold's hut dropping, we finished the story of Harold's fine hair. Yeah. I know this isn't what I usually do here in these videos, but this was a really cool scenario and it doesn't seem to be that popular. So I thought about showing it to you and definitely recommending it to be played. Just keep in mind that it's much slower than any official campaign in the game and it can get a bit boring. But if you're missing some Viking action in your life, it's worth the trouble. Grand Dukes has been recorded now and it should be coming out at some point next week.